Hey everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to be talking about the SD card disappearing on SteamOS with the Legion Go S. And maybe it's happening with another device too, but specifically with the Legion Go S. And I do have it on like a developer channel right now, so if you haven't seen the video for it, I definitely recommend switching over to, you know, developer mode and switching to the different operating channels. But I can leave a link to that in uh, the description if you haven't changed that already. But basically what's going on is if you have an SD card that you've put in. Um, if you go down to you know developer and then format, like force format, it basically just takes you here and it doesn't do anything. So it's not registering the SD card. So what we need to do is go over to power and then switch to desktop mode. Ideally you have a keyboard connected. That's gonna make it a lot easier for you. This one's just like a generic cheap one. I think it was $20 Canadian for this like Logitech combo that has you know, the trackpad there too, and it makes it a little bit easier to uh, navigate. All right, in here you can see the SD card is right there. We can right click it, go configure removable devices. And on here you can select on login and on attached all the way through, and then just hit apply. And so it'll say automatically mount removable drives that have never been mounted before, etc. Again, apply that and then close this. We're gonna go into the SD card and on here when you click on it, the second option is reformat or edit with partition manager. So click on that. Now when this comes up, you can unmount it by right clicking and then selecting unmount. And when you unmount it, you can go new partition table and then create new partition table as the GPT I'll select that and then you can see the pending operation right here. I'll apply it, apply pending operations, hit OK. All right, and then I'm going to go back on here and then select new. And then with new, I have it selected to BTRFS and I'm gonna label it SD card just so that I have some sort of reference point for the device and then permissions, I'm gonna put everyone. So everyone has permissions on this SD card. And, and you can see the actions are pending again. Hit apply, apply pending operation. Okay, then we can select okay. And that's fine. I can go ahead and close this. Let's just make sure that it's mounted. So you can see it's, it's still mounted. And now if I go into Steam, I'm gonna click right on top here where it says Steam, then Settings, and then down. I can go Add a Drive, and you can see the micro SD card is there. I can select Add, and now that's showing as an option here. Let's go back to Gaming Mode, and in Gaming Mode, if I go to Settings and Storage, now I can see this drive is here. So you can select X if you wanna make it your default, or you can flip back to your internal, put that as your default. But I'll make it the default just for now so that I can install a game. Of course, you can select between those two. So if you don't wanna make it your default, you don't have to. Okay, the download is finished. So I can go ahead and launch it just to see if it works. We can see that it does work here. So let's just say that I put it into sleep mode because we're running on an SD card and let's see what happens here. So if I press this again, it turns back on and we're still in soundfall. So that's a good sign. So I'm gonna go ahead and just exit the game. We go back into settings and storage. Again, you can see Soundfall is installed there. I can go back and make this the default again, because again, you can select when you go to install which one you want to put it in. I wouldn't recommend putting any AAA titles on an SD card. It's just not fast enough for a read-write speed to play the game well. It'll be a bad experience for you. So you want to keep anything that's like a high AAA game on your actual internal drive, and then anything that's like indie, easy run game, you can put that kind of stuff on your SD card. So if it would run on like an original Nintendo Switch, you can kind of gauge that of whether it should be on an SD card or not. Now what happens if I restart? The card is not there anymore. In order to get that back, I need to go back into desktop mode. Now the problem here is that it's not mounting on 
you know, restart or when you, you know, power it back on. That's the, the biggest issue here. So we found a fix for that. I'll put a note in the description, but in the meantime, this is going to be the best way to just, you know, get an SD card working for you. I can see that it's mounted again. If you want, you can check in Steam and see if it's showing. And yeah, it is showing there. I can see it. So then I can flip back to game mode. And now in game mode, if I go back to the storage, I can see it again. So that's gonna be the loophole of how you're gonna be able to get your SD card functioning so that you can at least play some games. Hopefully this was helpful for you and hopefully we'll see some sort of patch in the future here. Again, if you haven't switched to the developer channels and you're not using the same OS channels as I am, I recommend doing that. I'll leave a link again in the description for you to take a look at that with the Legion OS and Steam OS. If this was helpful, make sure you let me know down in the comments, hit that like button, subscribe if you haven't already, and take care until the next one.